Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 87. It is a Friday, I've got my Friday shirt on. Let me know in the comments below if you have days of the week where you wear certain items of clothes. Maybe at your rowing club, or maybe you want to start one. A t-shirt Tuesday perhaps, or a... Maybe even a suit Monday, like me. Because that would be great. You can spread out suit Mondays. Because remember, look good. Feel good, roll good, insert any other activity in the third part of that statement. But today's a Friday, it's really sunny outside because it's summer, spring, summer time. Gonna get a smoothie ready, no milk, so it's gonna be a smoothie. Gonna get breakfast, and I'm gonna head down to Cavisham today instead of Leander because I'm doing a step test, which means I don't think it's flat out. Well, hopefully, it's not flat out. But basically, it's a step test to check how I'm doing, where I should be rowing at certain different training zones so I can continue to increase my fitness at an accurate and good level. Science! But basically, I row for, I think it's four minutes per split. They take my lactate and then do some calculations and then they give me a UT2 split. I'm hoping that they give me a split that is close to what I've been doing. Otherwise, I've been either training too hard or training not hard enough. But we'll see. So, I'm going to make a smoothie and breakfast here, then head to Cavisham for the step test. Yeah, buddy. All right. I'm excited. Maybe, perhaps, the merch comes today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I'm excited for that too. It's all a big day. Let's get to it. And I've decided on a half leftover breakfast, half not leftover, three eggs. The barbecue pork from one of the other, pork, barbecue fried rice pork from another day. And some avocados, of course. And my actual smoothie, not a milkshake. Strawberry, blueberry, pineapple, banana, protein powder, which I've now ran out of, and you go get some more. Let's go to Gavisham. And we've made it out of the house. Got my smoothie. I'm going to try something a bit different for getting to Gavisham. Let's see if it works. And made it to Gavisham. Let me know if you like that little transition. Just trying different things. But I have drank my smoothie, ate my breakfast very close to this step test. So we'll see if it comes back up. The weather is gorgeous. The water is so flat. Don't know if you'll be able to see it. Beautiful. We're going, going to go in, talk to the physiologist, get changed, start the step test. Let's go. And welcome to Erg Thoughts during the Erg step test with Cam Buchan. Just myself today. And as you saw just there, that was the splits for the step test. Now I have a heart rate monitor on as well today for the step test as well. So this is just the warm up starting off. But the splits, so it started off and all I cook here just making sure I really understand he's adding his own little zones at the end there for maximal effort. Step, so eight steps I'm doing, step nine and ten he's adding, oh sorry, seven steps and he's adding eight and nine, eight and nine, so I'll go through the steps. Warm up at 56, uh, step one, 56, step two, 53, step four, 50, then it goes 47, 43, 41. Four minutes each step, 30 seconds in between. And here's a physiologist there. She'll be taking the lactate at each spot. And we're just laughing at Ollie there. He uh, just step eight and nine. So that's 110 and uh, 55 second split at rate 50 and at rate 75. You get specific rates for each step, starting at 18, working your way to 28. And then the physiologist decides which step you stop at or if you keep going, depending on your heart rate, depending on your lactate level. So smiling away here, just chatting to Ollie behind, he's messing around. This is part of the warm-up, so I'm just pulling 50-60s. Nice and easy, heart rate around 125, 130. Nice and easy, just getting warmed up. And let's change the footage to actually doing the step test, and we'll get talking about that. Okay, so I'm going along now at 18, and as we go along in the video, you'll see the rate go up. I think the, like I'll mention later on, 
the camera decided no recording after I think it was something 27 minutes and uh, just because that's how the camera is so I didn't catch the 28 piece um, but that's okay I managed to do it so let's talk about the step test itself I've mentioned already it's about sort of finding out where your body is fitness wise um, dealing with lactate where your heart rate is so basically record heart rate record a split record your lactate level for each four minute piece do some calculations that I have no idea about and then that you can calculate your proper training zones from those calculations like I said at the start of the video this should mean that my training becomes more specific to me rather than me feeling sort of going off a feeling of okay I know how hard it should be I'll make it that difficult and then change it up when it's getting too easy and then go faster and faster so that's how I've been sort of going so far so building my fitness that way and now we're taking a more scientific approach as I've got to a stage where it's and a good level my fitness is a good uh, my fitness is at a good level now that I can progress and the science will help me progress just that bit better but the step test itself is can vary sometimes some days you get splits and you're you're blowing your doors off other days like today since it was a reasonably slow split anyway I actually felt really good on it but it wasn't so much that it was a slow split it was actually my heart rate itself um, I could see it go and sit at a number or close enough so say in the middle ones it was sitting around 150 maybe like 149 152 and then once it got to 152 it would sort of just hover there rather than before before I got my surgery and before I took the time off the my heart rate was just out of control and I haven't felt this amount of control in my heart rate since I'll, well, it'll be a long time ago now way before the the surgery probably uh, more than a season ago anyway so it's, it looks like the surgery getting my tonsils out and having that rest period where I had to stop doing anything to recover has given me a positive benefit to training and it, my body has been able to take that time and take the tonsil adjustment well uh, so what else with the lactates on the the step test so you get a lactate after every four minutes after the warm-up as well and you can see you or you can take the calculations blah, blah blah but you can make a graph from said lactate levels and that can show you sort of where you are fitness wise as it shows you sort of how your body is how efficient your body is at dealing with the lactate acid lactic acid and so usually the fitter you are the better it is at dealing with it but sometimes your body can vary some some people produce a lot of lactic acid lactic acid other people's other people's bodies produce less that's just a sort of genetic thing but if you do multiple tests like these which I will be uh, throughout the summer then I can see how I progress and hopefully I can share with you guys so I should get results from the test next week and I can share with you some of my training because what the training zone should be and hopefully I can do it in another maybe month or two and I can see if the training zones have changed at all but I think that's really it for erg thoughts on the step test let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions because I've, I've already spoken for quite a bit on this matter but I'll be happy to answer if you have any other questions let's see what happens after I've finished the step test awesome step test I think the camera may have not recorded the end of it but here's the splits again ended up lactate of 4.6 at the end heart rate about 170 and flattening out which is a lot better than it has been some coaching going over there we're gonna get changed talk to the doctor get some food see you after and we've made it outside of Cavisham. Got some more protein powder for gains, because the gains train's never stopping. Got a really good step test. Hope you hopefully enjoyed a little chat about this testing process. Unfortunately, the camera did turn off. Didn't get the full thing. Should have GoPro'd it. Didn't get the full workout. Just missed the last four minutes. But it was essentially the same. And you know the splits as well. But now I'm going to go do a tour at Leander Club. 
for a corporate day. All right, let's get to Leander, nice and safe. And we've made it to Leander Club, now to go do the tour. We'll get back to you after. And after the tour on a corporate day, the guys get to get on the water with some Leander athletes. I'm doing the photographing today. So I'll be showing you some video now. Let's get to it. And this is pretty much it. So some people from Corporate Day getting in the boats. People from Corporate Day in the boats, racing side by side, down the course. Exciting stuff. Hopefully enjoyed some of, hopefully enjoy some of the footage of them racing. And we're gonna do some weights later on. All right. Probably see you after weights. Before weights. And that's it for the Corporate Day today. Gonna to go do some weights. Go get some food, recovery, and that'll be it for the rest of the vlog for today. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to come down to Leander and have a little practice. Have a good one.